Chartbeat is a real-time analytics and uptime monitoring service used by everyone from small blogs to some of the largest sites on the web. I'm going to show you the new beta version of Chartbeat version 2. We hope you like it. This is Fred Wilson's site on Chartbeat. The top bar shows the pattern of traffic over the course of the day, overlaid on the traffic of the same day last week. I can also make this show the traffic for the week or for the last month if I like, and it gives me an immediate picture of how the day is going. Is this traffic normal or unusual for this time of day? This bar can do much more than this, but we'll come back to that shortly. The Active Visits panel tells you how many people are on your site right now. We can also see how many people are new, possibly coming from a new referrer, and how many are returning. The Engagement panel below shows you the behavior of those people. We can see how many people are actively reading, how many are writing, and how many have the page open idle in a tab somewhere. The graph below shows you that behavior mapped to the length of their visit, so I can see how much time people are spending on the site and how active they are while they're doing it. Hovering over the bars gives me more detailed information. The site performance panel measures page load from both your servers and the user's browser itself. You can immediately see if that new widget is slowing down your site for your users. It also maps out the distribution of that page load for you as well. Drilling down further, we can see where these people are going on your site by looking at the top pages panel. With a site at this scale, each stop represents one active visitor, so I have an immediate idea of what pages are driving traffic right now. If I want a bigger view, I can expand this by clicking on the More button. Likewise, the Traffic Sources panel shows me which sites are sending me traffic, and also which search terms people are using to find my site. Location shows me where people are reading my content, with a breakdown of top locations on the right. And my Twitter conversations help me put my traffic in the context of the conversation happening across the web. It helps me immediately understand what might be the reason behind a sudden spike. However, what sets this new beta version of Chartbeat apart is the ability to pivot around pretty much any data point you choose, all in an incredibly simple fashion. If I click on a popular story, the whole site immediately pivots around it. I can see the number of active visits to that page, how many are new versus returning, how engaged they are, including how far they are scrolling down the page to read. I can see who is sending traffic to that exact page, what location they're coming from, and how that page is performing. I can do the same pivoting around a particular referrer. Clicking on the name of the site breaks down exactly which pages people are coming from and where they're going to. I even have the history of that particular referrer. There's a few other neat tricks. By clicking on the panels on the left, I can see this data represented against my top pages. I can see which pages are getting new traffic and which pages are getting returning visitors. I can see which pages have the best engagement and which ones are largely idle. I can also see which pages are slow to load. In fact, Chartbeat can pivot around pretty much any data point that's displayed here. Oh, one last thing. The toolbar also acts as a TiVo for your website. I can replay any moment in time simply by dragging the slider to wherever I want. I can even pause at a certain point to better understand what's happening, or go back and forward using the controls on the left here. That's a quick overview. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to play around with Chartbeat Beta for yourself, please go to chartbeat.com/demo2. Thank you.